happening today. The time for festivities is almost over, but not without one last big bash. Today is Fat Tuesday, the last day before the start of Lent. One of the biggest parties before the start of Lent will be, of course, in the Big Easy. And Camila Bernal is in New Orleans and gives us a preview of what revelers can expect as the clock inches closer towards midnight. Happy Mardi Gras people here on Bourbon Street are still celebrating. They've been doing so all night and they'll do it again tonight. Now the real uh, family friendly celebrations and traditions will begin this morning with the parades. They'll continue throughout the day. That is really the heart and soul of Mardi Gras and of this city. It's like Christmas for New Orleans. Mardi Gras marking the last day of the carnival season. It's hard to imagine how much people look forward to the parade every year and how much people look forward to Mardi Gras and you want to uh, make it worth their while. And to make it worthwhile, the crews have been preparing for months. We've got sculptors and painters, seamstresses, jewelers, paper arts, uh, the whole series of industries that, that really make this such a beautiful celebration. It fuels the city's economy and guarantees a memorable time for the thousands that come to watch the parades. I'm going to take you to see the Zulu King in New Orleans at the Mardi Gras. Tell me something! This year, a focus on sustainable and recyclable throws. We have just tried to emphasize quality over quantity, go with more reusable items, and so we do have a lot of those this year. A large portion of the beads will get recycled, highlighting just one of the many aspects already being planned for 2021. So we already have designs for next year's parade ready to go, so the whole process starts over. Now, I do want to show you how some of these crews have been recycling and focusing on sustainability. This is from the Rex crew. They're now going to hand out these stainless steel cups compared to the plastic cups that they've been doing so over the years. The muses uh, showing me this. They decided to clip um, their throws on the beads so you can unclip it, keep the throw, and then recycle the beads, ready to do it all over again next year. Reporting in New Orleans, I'm Camila Bernal. Back to you.